Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Curtis. Today we are going to be doing an organic shape drawing. If you remember from the first part of the lesson, organic shapes are shapes that are kind of wiggly and we usually call them by names of what they look like. So an example would be a shape like this. And we would call that a worm shape or a shape like this. And we might call that a leaf shape. We're going to do a whole drawing full of organic shapes. Now, you're going to be following along with me. However, your shapes do not have to look just like mine. If you want to make your shapes a little bit different, you can. The key for making organic shapes is making sure that even though they're wiggly, you still draw them neatly. And for our project, we don't want the shapes to touch. So when I'm drawing my shapes, I'm going to be really careful not to let them touch. So I am going to start out on my paper, and I think I am going to draw just that worm shape across my paper like this. And I'm going to make it kind of big and wiggly just like that. And then next to my worm shape, I'm going to draw another shape. And I might draw kind of a splatter shape like this. And again, I'm not going to let my shapes touch. That's really important. And we want to make sure we do them neatly. We don't want the shapes to look like this. We don't want them to be like scribbled. And we don't want them to overlap themselves. This isn't what we want. We want them to be nice and neat. And we want them to start and stop in the same place. So I think right here I'm going to make a cool leaf shape in between here, and I still have some space, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a shape kind of fills in between, and it's gonna be real funky. And come back around, but again, organic and wiggly does not mean sloppy, so we wanna take our time and make sure we're making them really neatly. We can even have shapes that go off the page or start right on the edge of the page and then come in I'm gonna draw one like this coming in from the side of my page. <clears throat> and they're gonna kind of fit together. You're making a whole page of these organic shapes. You can have fun with them. And sometimes organic shapes can even have some straighter edges. It's okay for them to have straighter edges, as long as we're not making squares and rectangles. I'm gonna put another big leaf shape right here, I think. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and make that one go right off the page. This is looking pretty cool. I'm going to have this one start here and wiggle around just like that. And I'm going to keep going because I want to fill my whole page with these organic shapes. Turn my paper around a little bit. I need another leaf shape here. Remember, we're getting them close together, but we're not going to let them touch. I'm going to put a big one right here from the corner. It's funny. It looks like this. It's kind of like a ghost shape. All right. Now I'm done drawing. I'm ready to start coloring them in. You're going to finish up your drawing, and then we're going to meet back and be ready to start to add color. All right. Have fun on your drawing. Remember, keep it neat. Make sure those organic shapes are really nice and neat. They're gonna get close together, but they're not going to touch.